I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics. I have another release for you today. Uh, we just have five fabrics this week. We are slowing things down a little bit. Um, with Christmas coming up, we find that you guys aren't buying quite as much as usual. So we're just slowing things down. And next week, next Sunday, 1st of December, I think it is, is going to be our last release before Christmas. We will do some other things um, in between. Um, but there won't actually be any more fabrics um, after that until Christmas is over and life gets back to normal again. We can all go on just as we have for the rest of the year. The craziness is done. So I've got a couple of different bases for you today. I've got a few actually, which is good considering there's only the five fabrics. So I'm going to start with the first one. It is a cotton spandex, so 95% cotton. 5% spandex and it's these super cute stars. Let me turn it up the right way. Isn't that so cute? So this one is called Stargazer. A lot of thought went into that, I know. That might be something that we do, I think, between um, our last release and Christmas is maybe a competition to find some more fabric names. So, Stargazer is 180 GSM. It's wider than most of our rolls of brush poly and that sort of stuff. It's about 160 centimetres wide. Um, that's all I needed to tell you about that one. Sorry, I was just checking my notes there. Okay, so we've got some horizontal stretch. A little bit of vertical give there. And we do have some drape. This is a very long piece of fabric I've got here because it starts off just being black. So <laughs> it's longer than normal, this little piece of fabric. Um, but it does still have nice drape. So the direct match that we have for this is obviously going to be black or white. But because it's black and white, there are so many colours that you could put with it which would really make them pop um, out of it. So really, any colour except for navy, I think, um, is something that you could tee up with this one. It's really cute. It makes some really great t-shirts for yourself or for the kids for summer. A little t-shirt dress, nice little skirt, dress for a little girl, some shorts. It'd be really cute. So I'm a fan of Stargazer. Alright, next one I have for you is a woven, and it's a beautiful woven. It's a cotton linen blend. So 95% cotton, 5% linen. It is 110 GSM. So it's still a nice light one, but you can definitely feel that this is a bit thicker. I'm going to say stiffer, even though that's not a great word for it, but that little bit stiffer than rayon chalet. So structure, structure is a better word. Um, so it's got more structure than rayon chalet, meaning it would make a beautiful pair of shorts. Rayon chalet also makes beautiful shorts, but sometimes I might have a little bit too much drape, um, whereas these will give that bit more structure that you might want um, in a nice tailored looking pair of shorts. Same for a skirt or a dress, beautiful. Um, but it's going to have that little bit more structure to it. So I've got no stretch to show you. I can show you the drape. And it's still really nice and be a beautiful, beautiful fabric to wear in summer. So this one is 145 centimetres wide, which is a great width for woven. I just want to show you that print there. Isn't it so cute? So this is simply called Orchids. Now, this one... What have we got that goes with this one? Rayon, um, navy, rayon modal, I should say. Looks really nice. That'd be great as a shorts or skirt and a t shirt. That would look really nice. You could put it with light sage, which picks up these really cute little greeny bits, browny bits around the flowers here. Actually, we didn't have a nice greeny blue that went with it, which is a real shame. Um, and white as well. Double brush poly or bamboo if you still have some of that in your little stash at home. Or cotton spandex, white cotton spandex. We've got a couple of whites out there. They're flowing out the door faster than we can keep up with. 
I will order more next time, I promise. Okay, so that is orchids. This is a cotton linen woven. Beautiful. Now I have a single brush poly. This is one of those extra wide single brush polys. So it's about 170 centimetres wide. This one is called monochrome. Oh no, I'll stand back so you can see that. I'm not tall enough to open it up quite as wide as it goes. But you can get an idea of the print there. So you can really do a few different things with this because it's almost like it's a couple of prints in one, isn't it? There sort of seems to be a few things going on here. Um, so you could really get some unique looks out of this one, I think. So it's got great stretch both ways, really nice drape, and it's just black and white. So it's just called monochrome. Um, so black or a white goes beautifully, or again, any colour will look stunning. So, you know, what's this one here? This is maroon, round modal. Looks really nice. I've got lots of bright colours here because I've got one really colourful one to show you. A bit of orange, a bit of azure blue, no, neon blue, sorry, I got that one wrong. So really, any colour could go with this one, which makes it really versatile. In fact, I might have to make myself a little pair of shorts out of this one because then I'd have so many things to go with it. A little sachet shorts. I've just discovered, I know I'm about a year late, Sachet shorts. You see those? Oh my gosh, I love them and they take about 10 minutes to make. I'm wearing my, um, this is my Hope in Black summer bundle today. So I've done this kimono with tassels on the bottom. And again, this took me probably 20 minutes to make. It was so quick. This is the um, petite stitchery kimono which is no longer for sale unfortunately but there's plenty of other kimono patterns out there and just so so quick to make up and if you put tassels or something like that on the bottom a little bit nice closer can you see those there you go um you don't have to hem hemming done just by putting those on and it looks really cute too i think so my one and a half meters went into the kimono and then one metre went into these little sachets and I put just the exposed elastic waistband on there. And I'm actually cheating, I'm not wearing the, it's black single brush poly that comes with it. This is just a little singlet top that I had at home. So I'm cheating a little bit there. Um, but the, the idea of that would be to be a black top, that particular piece of fabric. So I'm really liking this little summer bundle. Sorry, enough about me. Let's carry on with the fabric. Um, got a little sidetracked there. My apologies. Okay, more cotton spandex. These are navy, burgundy and navy stripes. And we have these stripes in at the moment. We've got navy and white, black and white, grey and pink stripes. It's a beautiful, beautiful fabric. It washes up really nicely. It feels great to wear. It's got really great stretch. straight so I'll bring it closer so it's just a, a cute little pinstripe oops got a bit bright there didn't it just a cute little pinstripe on there really really nice fabric I made a maxi dress out of the navy and white stripes and I love it it feels so nice to wear so obviously this goes with a lot of blues because it's got just that little bit of blue in the background which means that you don't need an exact excuse me, an exact match. So navy, single brush poly, works. And this is navy, the 250, the heavy GSM um, cotton spandex. The navy rail modal works too. And this one is the navy 180 GSM cotton spandex. And the dark blue. If you've got any indigo at home, indigo double brush poly, that would work as well. We're sold out of that one now. But if you have it at home, then that'll work too. So this is the burgundy and navy stripes in cotton spandex. I'll be having a t-shirt or two out of that one, I believe. 
Okay, we're here already, nice and quick when there's only five fabrics. Uh, our Lush Sunday special today is an ITY. I'm hoping that you guys um, will try this out. It's beautiful, beautiful fabric ITY. And this one has got the most amazing colours in it. It feels gorgeous. It's a slinky fabric, yes. Um, but it's cool to the touch and it's soft to the touch. And I made my dress that I wore to Frocktails out of an ITY and it was beautiful to wear. So the day of Perth Frocktails, it was 40 degrees. Um, it was our first hot, hot day. And I was so comfortable all evening. It was a really nice night, um, but I was really, really comfortable all evening in my ITY. And I say that because it's a poly base. This is 96% poly, 4% spandex. And I know that that scares a lot of people. This one is beautiful to wear. It just feels lovely. It kind of, um, it just kind of floats and slides over your skin. You know, it's, it's a real slinky, cool feel. And while it's a Sunday special, it's probably a good chance to give it a go if you're not sure about it or if you haven't tried it before. So the stretch is great. And, and vertically, I should say. Beautiful drape. Really, really nice drape. Now, this has got 101 coordinates that go with it. So strap in. Whoops. And it's so slinky. Is it even going to stay on me? I might be fighting a little bit by the end, I think. It already wants to fall off. Oh, let's try that again. There we go. Okay. All right. I don't even know if I've got all the coordinates here. I'm stuck now. There we go. All right, tangerine double brush poly. All of these are on the website. So if you want to have a closer look, a longer look, um, you can have a look on the website and it'll have a picture with the full coordinate to sort of drape down the side of Molly. So that'll give you a much better idea. This is peach double brush poly. See how slinky it is? Just wants to fall off. Okay, this one is Tickle Me Pink Rayon Modal. There's so many colours in this. Great wardrobe builder. Uh, yellow Rayon Modal. <laughs> oh, now I'm stuck again. This is a bit of a disaster today, isn't it? Okay, yellow Rayon Modal. Orange uh, Double Brush Poly. Neon Blue. Double brush poly. Where's the blue? I'm hiding some of the blues there. And maroon. Brown modal. I like those ones. And coral. Double brush poly. And light blue. Double brush poly. Berry. Double brush poly and deep mauve, deep mauve, deep coral. Sorry about that. Deep coral, double brush poly, azure blue. This is rayon modal. I love this color. And banana, double brush poly, aqua, double brush poly. Apricot, double brush poly. That's a few coordinates in there today. Now I'm going to take this off because it's driving me a little bit crazy. But that is your Lush Sunday special for today. Beautiful, cute little Christmas dress too. Nice colours. Uh, it's an ITY and it's called Sunset. I don't think I've told you the name yet. This one is called Sunset. Okay, that's all. Hope you like them. You can win three metres from this little lot just by commenting on the posts that we put up in our Lush Fabrics Facebook group. So um, also comment on the post that we put up on the page, but it's the group that we take the comments from for the competition entries. You can comment as many times as you like. Each comment is an entry. So that's all for this week and only one more week of releases um, before Christmas. But then we'll have something special for you going on after Christmas. We'll try and have a couple of interesting things going on in between. It just won't be new fabric. There are 
still plenty of fabrics as you can see behind me here in the warehouse that you can still buy from we just won't put new stuff in uh, and don't forget that we have um, gift vouchers or they actually they're called gift cards on our new website um, and I've now put a link to that in the menu in the top of the um, website where all the menu items are you know, knit fabric and woven a lush Sunday special there's now an item called gift cards or gift, gift something um, so you can locate it quickly so if you wanted to just copy that link and send it to some loved ones who desperately need some guidance when it comes to buying you a gift that would be a good way to do it um, and then you can spend at your leisure and, and have some shopping fun from the comfort of your home okay I'll leave you to it thank you so much and I'll see you next week bye